Okay, hey guys. Long time no talk. I know, I know, I know. I'm back. So today I'm coming to you guys with a, another season of my little closet confession series. You guys know that I was trying out this new series just to see what you guys thought about it. It was pretty much like a little look into my closet and I was going to do everything from unboxings to girl talk to questions, pretty much anything that you guys wanted to see. So after I think I did like three or four videos on that season one I want to call, welcome to season two. You guys really seem to enjoy this series and I got a lot of great feedback so I just want to go ahead and continue on the series. So if you would like to see more of these videos, leave a comment below. Let me know kind of what you want to see, any questions that you might have. It could be about anything, cosmetology, school, career, uh, natural hair, pretty much anything. We can get personal on here. Today's question is coming from Tumblr. She goes by the name Love, Love Me Nita. Hey girl, hey, I checked out your Instagram and you are absolutely beautiful, so, so pretty. Um, I think I followed you. If I haven't, I'm following you right now. So her question for today was, what products do you use to straighten? I thought I did a million and one videos on this question. I use a lot of different products. I'm always reviewing products, but I do have my staples and I have the products that I stick with. So today I'll be sharing with you guys all the products that I use to straighten my hair. Um, keep in mind that I the look that I usually go for is for a more, um, I like a lot of volume, a lot of body, a lot of movement. So, like they say, less is more. You don't want to use too much product to weigh down your hair when you're straightening your hair. So I try to keep it, my products down to a minimum. Very, very strict on that. And I like to use what works for me. So, overall, um, I'm just going to run through the products. Like I said, I'll leave links below to everything that I mentioned today. So when I am about to begin my straightening process I always like to start off with a deep treatment mask the night before by the name of Arvizalia you guys know I mentioned this many times before and this is a deep hydrating argan oil hair mask and I have a whole review on this product I'll link that on the screen right now but I absolutely love this mask um, I love to do deep treatment masks before I straighten my hair the night before just to make sure that my hair is in its most he most healthiest state before I break down the bonds when I'm straightening my hair. This is a little up there in price. It is well worth the price, but for my divas on a budget, uh, some of my favorite deep treatment masks would have to be anything from the ORS collection, any of their deep treatment masks. You can find them in like the dollar store, the family dollar. I used to use those all the time. Um, they come in singles, like a one pack. So obviously when you're ready to begin your straightening, you're gonna have to blow dry your hair and some of you may wanna use a roller set and then straighten, it's a lot of heat. So the next thing that you wanna have is a heat protectant. And the heat protectant that I am currently using is from the same brand. This is Arvizalia's Premium Argan Oil Hair Treatment. I absolutely love this stuff. I use it all the time for my straightening. It gives my hair, I love the fragrance of it. It doesn't get, um, give off that burning smell that most straightening products would do. Um, it definitely does not fry the hair. I love the shine that it gives it and it's not heavy at all. So it does not weigh down my hair. I don't get like that greasy effect. One of the cheaper alternatives, like I said before, um, Organic Root Stimulator or ORS. This is their Olive Oil Heat Protectant Serum. And I got this from either Walmart or the dollar store for like $3.99 or $2.99. And last but not least is my straightener. Now the straightener that I'm using right now, before I would just use any straightener that I could pretty much find. But the straightener that I'm using right now is a part of my school kit for cosmetology school. And obviously it's for professionals. It's a really, really great school that iron. I absolutely love it. Just so you guys know, we use this on our straight hair clients, our texture clients, and natural hair clients. We use this for pretty much all textures and it goes up to 400 degrees. So it's definitely a professional flat iron. Now this particular flat iron is called the Paul Mitchell Pro Tools Express Ion Smooth. Like I said, it's absolutely great for straightening your hair and getting that bone straight look 
and to straighten my hair I use the comb chase method I have a whole entire video on how I straighten my hair one of the best things about this flat iron that I love is the ceramic plates now this iron has been through a lot I've had it on the station I've dropped it all types of stuff thrown it in the kid put it in the car and it still holds up really really well and my plates have not been shifted and they are not damaged I had some of my old flat irons that I'll be like straightening my hair and then eventually it'll like rust and everything and the plates will shift and it'll start snagging at my hair I still haven't had that with this flat iron it gets the hair really 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 smooth and this is on the same topic of straightening my hair I don't do this very very often but one of my other favorites is from diva smooth and this is their hair smoothing agent it's like a whole kit a smoothing um kit it pretty much gets my i usually go for it whenever i want a bone straight look and i want my straight hair to last a little bit longer with less frizz i'll go for this treatment now i have a whole review and tutorial on this treatment so i hope i answered your question as to what products i use to straighten like I said before, I know it could be a little bit confusing as I do review a lot of different products, but these are definitely my staples. I use them on an everyday basis, um, except for the flat iron, of course, but all the other products I use them on an everyday basis. I always use them. So after getting this question, I kind of thought about it. I'm going to create a section on my blog. I'll leave the link below. And in that section, it will be what I'm currently reviewing as well as a current hair regimen. So for all of you guys that are new to my channel and you kind of want to know what I use on an everyday basis or what I use for twist outs or braid outs, what are my staple products that I absolutely can't live without, that will be on my blog and it will always be available. As the months change, I will be changing the products as my experiences change with them. But like I said before, I review a lot of different things, but I still have my staples that I kind of gear run towards more um, and I have some things that I, I like. but may not like as much to keep them keep purchasing them so i hope you guys enjoyed this closet confession and i have so many questions from you guys i cannot wait to film all of them and don't forget to leave your questions below so i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video